Have a look at that. A strip of cardboard joined with sticky tape. A little cylinder. Could be a serviette ring. Nothing very remarkable about it. What would happen if I cut it down the edge, all the way around? You might say, well, that's easy to predict. You start it off with one thick circle, you'll end up with two thin circles, and they'll be quite separate from one another, and you're quite correct. What if we took a strip of paper, and this time, instead of just making it into a simple serviette ring, we put a twist in it before joining it? There we are, just one little twist, like so. Then, with a piece of sticky tape, we join the two ends together so that we have a kind of ring, but it's a little different from our first ring. It's a strange serviette ring with a twist in it, like so. You might say, well, nothing very remarkable about that. Imagine that you're an ant and you decide to go for a little walk around the outside of this serviette ring. Let's see what would happen to you. Here we go. You start off in this position here and away you go. Across the join. Keep going, still on the outside. wobbly old line, but you're getting there, and then you come to the twist and you have to start going inside. So you keep on following it along, following it along, like this. Yes, you're quite certainly inside now. Now you come to the twist again, look what happens here. You start going to the outside. You're on a blank roadway, and you keep going along the outside until, what's this? <laughs> you come to the point that you started at. There we are. If you have a look, you notice that I didn't take my pen off the paper or cardboard at all, and yet we've covered the inside and the outside of that strange little strip of paper in one go. Strips of paper with twists in them like this are called Merbius strips, named after the man, Merbius, a mathematician who first discovered them. Here's something else remarkable about them. If I take the scissors and start cutting along that line that our friend the little ant made, I wonder what will happen. You might say, oh, that's not very remarkable. We'll just end up with two strips of paper. Maybe they'll have twists in them. But they'll be two separate rings. Or will they? There we are. We've cut all the way around, and we have not two rings, but one. One ring, larger than the original one, with a double twist in it. Now, here's what I want you to do. After you get that far, take your scissors again and run it down the center of this strip, and then see what happens. You'll be surprised. And also, try making Merbius strips with two twists, three twists, four twists, five twists, six twists, seven twists.